Hello and welcome to all the men and women of the West. I'm Joe. As you can see, I'm already logged in. I'm prepping to already upload this video as soon as I finish. Uh, so I hope it's only one take and that I don't screw this up too badly. As you can see, the channel I'm going to try to promote today is Voice of Geekdom. I don't think I've talked about his channel so far. It's a channel I really like. I really enjoyed this episode. Sorry, I've watched it twice. The, the channel here tends to be one where he does a lot of live streams for the upcoming Rings of Power show, which, okay, oh, in an Elrond episode. Oh, yeah, I already saw this. I really enjoyed it. Anyways, sorry, I'm tired so I'm a little forgetful um yeah he does a lot of Silmarillion simplified now where Dan and I will discuss the chapters into the pavement he actually presents the chapters rather like a radio drama of the actual Silmarillion and it's brilliant what he's doing and how he's doing it Generally, he's getting the various Tolkien tubers to get together and do the voices, which is great marketing as well for them. So it helps them out. But most of all, it really presents a great depiction of the Silmarillion and possibly the best kind of adaptation you can kind of ever hope for. Oh, um, actually, I don't want to do that. Um, no. Oh, no. Okay. I'd rather just do random quests for now and continue leveling up Balforth. And... Let's see. Orc shields. Okay. Well, anyways. Voice of Geekdom is one of those channels whom... He's generally very friendly. He's got a pretty hilarious sense of humor. Um... I do sometimes get the feeling that he's anxious or that he's nervous when presenting at times, which is something that I find a bit... Oh, here. I just realized I can't really hear myself. Sorry about that. Now, where I have a natural stutter, he seems naturally a little nervous. He obviously puts a lot of thought and effort into a lot of his videos but it's when he's live streaming you could see he's a little nervous or anxious and he's very careful with his words he's very eloquent you can tell and needless to say I have a healthy amount of respect for his knowledge and for his obvious passion for Norse mythology and this might be a little sappy but I envy him that his dad is still alive and is his best friend. He could spend so much time with him. My father has long since passed. So I see that kind of bond, sort of. Well, what I mean is his dad played Hurin in his Silmarillion. I had asked him who he was going to pitch for that role because I was really excited because I love Hurin. And I thought it really touching and pretty cool how close he was to his dad. So, naturally, I find that just absolutely heartwarming that he'd cast his dad in that role. Not to mention his dad's apparently a pretty talented, I think, voice actor and theater actor. So, there is that. Oh, shoot, I'm about to go down. Um... 
Oh, shoot. No, no. I gotta run. <laughs> I just died. Wow, I epic failed here. All right. That's gonna break his leg. It's gonna break his leg. Or not. All right. So. Yeah, I, I find his... That whenever I see that kind of relationship or I hear about it, I always feel a certain happiness for the other person. And of course, I think back to my own father, who was my best friend. Now, with Voice of Geekdom, he often, I've noticed in some of his live streams when discussing the Silmarillion or Lord of the Rings, refers back to the Norse, um, the Norse element of Tolkien's literature and inspiration and whatnot. Like myself, he's rather passionate about the prose and poetic eddas, which I really want to reread again, because it's been a few years. And his... Ooh, better go up here. And that's something that you'll see every once in a while. He's made some references to Fafnir, to Sigmunder, or I think it's Sigmunder, but to Sigurdr, and others of this nature, other epic heroes from the sagas. Uh, why not? He's going to blow me up. There, I think that's in my pack. And I don't think I'm going to be able to complete the quest today. Alright, let's see. I'll try it for this one. I'm in around Weathertop in the Lone Lines. Alright. That's which one? Fluffing the pillows. All right. Um, gonna guess. Okay, weather top is right there. Yeah, it says so in big bold English letters, beautiful Anglo-Saxon letters. Or are they Anglo-Danish? I'm joking. <laughs> Couldn't resist that joke. But, yeah. Voice of Geekdom's a pretty chill guy. Um, when he's not always live-streaming. <laughs> I had to crack that joke. Very friendly. He's... rather... keen, I've noticed, to stay on... A lot of people's good sides out of a genuine desire to just stay out of the way of those who are rather negative and toxic and he's well he's been very nice and polite to me and generally he's occasionally given me shout outs over on some of his streams which is pretty nice considering I'm teeny tiny and utterly insignificant as a channel especially on this one but like I said I really like the mythology that's my favorite part about some of his discussions he references the mythology he obviously has a passion for it, and like Tolkien lore geek, there's a respect for Tolkien's intelligence and works outside of the legendarium, which is rather um, uncommon, because most people, they think of Tolkien, they only think of the legendarium, or just Lord of the Rings, and they don't really like 
his other works, such as The Hobbit or The Silmarillion. Now, admittedly, at least in my opinion, I think The Silmarillion is Tolkien's best work, with Lord of the Rings probably ranking second, probably. Um, I know that's going to be sacrilegious in some people's eyes, but it's just, I just have a natural preference for the Lord of the Rings, because it reads more like a epic book, like the prose or poetic Edas, or I don't really like to compare it to this, but as I don't really read it very often, I've not read it in uh, years, probably decades, the Bible. Um, but that said, Voice of Geekdom is a really good channel, especially if you're cooking or cleaning or um, generally doing something and you really want to listen to some Tolkien, he, like I said, has his Selma really explained. He's explaining the story whilst also recounting it as though it were a radio drama, which he's kind of homing in on my job as someone trying to dissect the Selma Rillian. I'm joking. But in all seriousness, this allows him to cover a lot of ground. And doing something else while listening to him is... I don't know, I can multitask, so I can fully pay attention to listening to someone else, to an audiobook or something, or a radio drama, and also rather, well, do something else at the same time um, without losing out on either. And his work, I found that when, for example, I'm reading or studying or writing I often flick on his channel and yeah I, I really speak well of many of the Tolkien tubers it's just they each do their own unique thing and sure there's um, some who don't update as often, such as Girl Next Gondor, others who are starting to diversify between live streams and actual podcasts and whatnot, such as Red Book. Oh, there's one, I think. Um, generally, Voice of Geekdom sticks to Summer Really Unexplained, but as you noted, he does, and as I've been ranting about, he does live streams. And he's mostly done them with, I think, the Clueless Fangirl in Deep Geek, because everyone live streams of those two. But now that he's doing live streams, I'd like to see JRRT Lore Geek maybe uh, host him. I'd like to see the two of them interact. It'd be interesting. I know that some people are going to point out, well, uh, Tolkien Lore Geek ended up have hosting Girl Next Gondor, but I'd like to see him host Red Book and Voice of Geekdom, personally. Ah, it's respawned, finally. And this has to do with just the fact that the different approaches they come to the literature and the lore with and I'd like to see them kind of discuss some of the mythology and lore in well maybe not lore is the right word but the mythology and the literary precedents that and inspirations for the legendarium I'd really like to see that because I think what could be discussed 
and whatnot, we make a rather exciting uh, discussion between the Tolkien lore geek and Voice of Geekdom. Since, in that regard, they have that in common. I'm just gonna... Alright, I'm no longer on Weathertop. I've completed, uh, I think, major area quest. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I'm just gonna try to get to the, uh, the inn, because I really do want to go back outside today and take my dog out before he starts crying again, and I, well, run out of sunshine. Now I've already taken him out once, well, twice, second time doesn't really count, it was too short. So, got to take him out for another 10, 20 minutes and run him around the block. He's rather energetic that way. Well, he's a lap, so he wants to always be running. Problem is the heat, he doesn't handle the heat very well. Because he's got nothing but a, he's got a black coat. So, the heat's just murdering him these days. Well, it's like that every July, so. Every July is just terrible. Thankfully, some of the Julys and some of the winters these days aren't as bad as the ones in my youth when I was a kid, so. In that regard, I think we're kind of blessed. That said, because I remember some pretty darn freaking cold winters where I'm from. Minus 40 and sometimes 42. And that was in Ontario. Nowadays it's just minus 25s and minus 30s or 35s, which way more tolerable. Uh, I do hope I can get to Hokkaido in the next couple of months. They've got pretty tame uh, winters too, but it should be rather more well, I think it's slightly colder than here, if memory serves. I hope so. Yeah. Boots it is. No, I'll need you. Let's see. Finish now. There. So, yeah. Uh, do go check out. You know what? Let's see. I think I'm going to actually have to do that instance. Uh, that's going to be hard. Okay, I'm not really a... I'm a solo player. I'm not really a... a team kind of gamer. Um, I prefer a beginning, middle, and end. Rather like Sukoden or something. But I don't have time for that game. Most of the episodes of Sukoden I'm uploading are... well, older videos that were recorded months ago. We've got the entire series pretty much recorded. It's just a matter of editing some. But anyways, once again, subscribe to... Well, go check out Voice of Geekdom and go give him a... Subs go smash his subscribe button because he's really good. You won't regret it, I guarantee it. And... Also, if you could smash the like and the subscribe button here at this channel, I'd greatly appreciate it. And go over to the main channel and subscribe over there. We really do need to grow that channel. And once we do, we can get started on live streaming ourselves with uh, Dan and I, I mean, my partner at the main channel. We can start live streaming with some of the um, big boys and girls who constitute the Tolkien tubing community and that's kind of the dream so do give us a, a subscribe over there 
if you enjoy Tolkien lore and fantasy lore in general and analysis of the various books and whatnot and the characters so don't forget to also have yourselves a great day so do take care and i'll see you